They're drowning in misery because of their actions towards you. See, people just don't get it until they get it. And God handcrafts certain punishments for certain people based on how they came up against you and how they have came up against others, right? And their specific punishment is misery. See, your happiness meant so much to them when it came down to destroying it, right? And you've had to work so hard for it. You've had to go through everything you could think of, bro. You had to go through every trial and tribulation a person can imagine, sis. And you still overcame, you still smile. And it's like, no matter how much you smile, people hate it, but more people love it. And it's meant to bring peace to this world. It's meant to bring happiness to this world, starting with you. And this source of happiness is indestructible when you're filled with the Holy Spirit. This source of happiness will never leave you. Even when people do everything that they can to fight, claw, and scratch to take it out of you, it's not theirs, right? They're going to pay for their attempts on your joy, your peace, right? Your beauty, your handsomeness, your handsomeness, your handsomeness. <laughs> They're going to pay for all of the attempts, all of the attacks in the same form that they wished on you times a thousand. When people find themselves losing beauty, losing hair, losing health, losing prosperity, losing family because they're walking out of their lives due to deception, due to lies, all they're going to think about is you when they see themselves losing jobs, right? Losing income, right? Losing housing. All they're going to think about is you. And all they're going to do is look you up and see you smiling. <laughs> all they're going to do is come around in the peripheral vision because they know they're not welcome around you. Drive around, walk around, ask about to see how you're doing. And all it's going to be is good news. See, all God has been doing is blessing you because all these people did was try to stress you and he saw it all. You didn't stoop down to a level that you weren't meant to be on. You didn't give in to negativity that simply wasn't yours, right? Every attempt to make you heavy, you brushed it off and moved forward. Every attempt to destroy your faith, your mindset, right? your calling, your purpose, your business, your team, right? Your family, all these attempts are the best definition of failure because you weren't putting it in your hands. You were giving it to God and he was working behind the scenes, even when it seemed like nothing was going on. It is going on and it's continuing to go on. And a lot of these people are dealing with some lifetime problems, some lifetime health difficulties, right? Some lifetime pain and misery that they're going to deal with and it's forever. And they're dealing with a lifetime disconnection from the most high God and Lord Jesus. Most importantly, your connection is getting stronger. You're growing, your anointing is multiplying, right? Your blessings are multiplying, right? And people are coming into your life. They're gonna treat you right. God is going to repay every wicked deed done to you with beautiful things, beautiful people inside and out that are handcrafted and sent to him and from him, right? And everything that you're doing is shaping you for the life that he has for you, from you being strong, for you having a sense of forgiveness, from you, you know, doing what you're supposed to do even through tough times, right? You being responsible, right? You being obedient. See, it's one thing to do all these things when everything is peaches and cream and everything's sunshines and rainbows. But when trauma strikes, when the enemy attacks you, when he comes after your peace, your joy, when he comes after your finances, when he comes after, you know, some people, your health or your family's health, then what are you going to do and who are you going to trust? And this is why you continue to develop into a king and a queen. And that's who you truly are and who you're meant to be because you trust God. You don't trust man more than you trust God. 
And this is why God continues to bless you. This is why he continues to structure your life to where it gets better and better and better. And because they want it to go down, guess how he's structuring their lives? Guess which direction their lives is going, right? Because they didn't know how to. They didn't know how to. They didn't know how to have a good heart either. They didn't know how to do any of these things, right? And because they didn't know how to shut their mouths, because they didn't know how to grow into their own lives, they chose to destroy yours, right? And they're paying for it heavily. Nothing is going right in their lives. Everything's going left. <laughs> Nothing is being blessed. Everything is being stressed. <laughs> If you could see these people's faces when they wake up in the morning, you would just be like, wow, right? And even at that, they still have the nerve to keep going. They still have the nerve to keep trying you. They still have the nerve to keep coming up against God and his purpose in your lives. And guess what? They're going to continue to have the nerve to keep crying themselves to sleep. They're going to continue to have the nerve to keep dang near starving and going without. They're going to continue to have the nerve to walk around and feel right. Walk around smelling and looking like the best definition of unhealthy, right? Internally and externally, right? When people look into their lives and they look into their eyes, they see depression, right? And when they look into your eyes, they see joy. They see the Holy Spirit. They see God's purpose in your life. And when they went to these witch doctors, when they went to these warlocks, they told them that you were meant for greatness. They told them who you were. They told them that you were royalty. They told them to stop, to slow down, right? To slow their roll. But people didn't listen. And now them and everybody that they brought into it are going down together. They're not going to experience anything good. That's all I'm going to say, right? Everything is breaking down and it's going to continue to break down and it's going to start here, right? See, they're not as mentally strong as you to where they can go through what you went through and not break here. But when they break here, don't be surprised if you hear that people have gone to the crazy house. Don't be surprised if you hear that people have got into certain situations that they're not going to be able to recover from or bounce back from all around the board, right? They're going back to ground zero. They're going back to basically childhood days where you just got a couple of dollars in your pocket, but they got big boy bills, big boy debt, big boy responsibility, and big boy karma to deal with, right? But they don't have big boy character like you, bro, right? They don't have, you know, grown women structure and a kind loving heart like you sis right they don't have the peace and the love and the joy and the strength to keep pushing and the faith to keep pushing in times of trauma in times of betrayal in times of abandonment right in times of failure all these things you kept going through and now the jig is up now these people are going to suffer now these people are going to pay and guess where all the money is going to go <laughs> it's going to go to you guess where all the positive energy that they stole and that's coming out of their lives is going to go it's going to go to you because you always pay the cost for coming up against god's people you could crack that bible open and see yourself so continue to move forward continue to keep pushing don't let their attacks or attempts bother you because you're moving up, you're moving forward, and blessings are going to continue to follow you. And if you know this to be the case, don't you be afraid to hop down there in that comment section and say they will pay the cost for every wicked deed that they have done in my life. In Jesus' money, name I pray. Make sure you guys hop down there, like this thing up, share this thing up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button to keep in the loop every time we drop. I'll catch you guys on the next one.